Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to Engineering with Pritam. In this video, we will talk about three things or three tools inside which is Creo Parametric. The first one is Centerline, then the second one is Point and then the third and the last one is Coordinate System. Not only we will go through these tools in Creo Sketch environment, we will also talk about what is a difference between geometrical center line versus construction center line. And in similar way, we will also see the difference between point and coordinate system. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here you can see I have already opened PTZ Creo part environment. And in order to create sketch, which is pretty easy, you simply need to click on the plane on which you want to create sketch and then click on sketch. This time we have used mini toolbar. Now here you will see that we are now inside PTC Creo sketch environment. Now here as we are covering these three tools at the same time, I also would like to see the difference between these three tools and then these three tools as they name same. So let's start with um, center line and as the name suggests, this is a line segment um, which is of infinite length, I would say, uh, which act as a center line. So no matter how much zoom in and zoom out you do, it never ends. So this is your center line and a lot of time we generally use uh, it to create, let's say, mirror image or mirror object, for example. Um, I have selected this entity and then I'm going to use mirror and that's how we have created mirror image of this object toward this side. Now this generally we prefer when we want the center line also to arrive outside of my sketch. So here you can see um, I have exited my sketch environment. Now I am in part environment here you can see still i can see this center line now the additional benefit i have is let's say even in part environment i would like to do something i can do that for example let's say i would like to use this in a revolve tool let's click on this revolve tool now here i would like to create a sketch and let's actually create here a circle and then I'm gonna make the circle tangent to this side this side okay and then the distance here is let's say 460 now let's exit and now let me provide this axis of which actually we have created in our previous sketch. But let's say what would happen if I would have chosen this construction style center line instead of this geometrical center line. So let's do that. I'm gonna delete this one and now I'm gonna add here the center line which is a reference center line. Now this feature obviously will get failed um, because I have removed the reference which was acting as a parent for our revolve component. Now here you will see that you know despite we have enabled this axis display we cannot see the center line. This is because the scope of this construction type center line and is only limited till your sketch. As soon as we exit our sketch environment, you will see that the scope of this construction line got ended. This is, I would say, is the biggest difference between these three tools and these three tools, which is the scope. So these three tools have a scope only inside your PTC Creo sketch environment. However, these three tools, uh, which is point, a coordinate system, have uh, scope outside your sketch environment now creating these features is actually quite easy you simply need to click on point and then you know you can place wherever you want and then using these two references you can adjust them or provide the value 
similar is true with coordinate system let's say since we are creating this coordinate system inside sketch environment and sketch is generally plotted over a plane that's why we are seeing option of providing only two value in terms of x and y we can also create the coordinate system or even point outside sketch but here we also have an option to create these entities inside sketch as well so in this video we saw how we can draw center line point and coordinate system inside ptc creo sketch environment not only that we also saw the difference between geometrical entities as well as construction entities i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to engineering with pritam to see more such productivity video and i will see you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye